I will not say Xenia SFG, but think for a better kettlebell get up. Watch this. How many of you have encountered this type of problem in your kettlebell get up? I'm going to give you a few tips that will improve this transition immediately. Please observe. First, the setup. I touch my hip, extend the arm, shoulder away from the ear. My bottom leg, the straight one, I want to point slightly to the side as well. And then, during the transition, my knee points slightly in, just slightly. It doesn't collapse inward, just slightly. I'm not initiating the movement with my head, it's not a sit-up, but with my bent leg, I push it hard into the floor, hard. Same thing on the way down, I'm actively breaking with the bent leg. And I don't allow my bottom shoulder to shrug like this. Breaking the movement. Alright, two more tips. One of them I got from Steve Friedes. He learned it from uh, Dr. Marcheng. Both of them senior SFGs. Watch this. Out, out, in slightly. And then I want to point my sternum 45 degrees to the ceiling when the ceiling and when the wall meets. So, like this, see? This direction. Notice that the transition is smooth, there are no jerky movements, right? Uh, last tip. It applies for a kettlebell, especially a heavier kettlebell. Watch this. With a light kettlebell, my hand will be more or less perpendicular to the floor. With a heavier kettlebell, the center of gravity will be outside. So I need to point the kettlebell slightly in, just slightly. Of course, I don't want to lose the kettlebell. Then, out, out, slightly in, and the kettlebell head Slightly in, just slightly. Same thing on the way down. I want to wedge under the kettlebell. Slow and smooth. Same thing on the way down. Try these tips uh, for your kettlebell get up and I'm sure it will get better. Thank you.